So I've mentioned and praised the various mapping systems and tools you can use for photography in the past. Google Earth, Google Maps, especially with the 3D functionality. Now my aim was to scout out a location towards Dale Head. Oh, towards Dale Head. And I thought I could get up this way for those who've been here. Honest is down there or the rain started. Honest is down there. It's a path just to the just up above the road to bottom here. Now on the maps it looked like I could get up there quite easily. It looks relatively flat. Now I'm, I'm aware that Dale Head's on top of a hill, but I didn't realise that the incline was s severe as it is. And I could get up there now, but with it being rain, with it being slate, that is not a good combination for climbing up up there. So I may have to go back down and follow the route towards Dale Head and skim back across this way to the location I'm after, which is the couple of old abandoned slate, um, slate huts for a, a sunrise view down towards Buttermere. Now, sunrise is heading straight up towards me. And I've never shot into the sun before. I've always been quite anxious about the, the direct sunlight. But what I'm looking to do is shoot at F22. Might have to crank up the ISO and drop the aperture slightly to get a decent exposure. The weather's going to be changeable. It's going to be rain, just about constant, varying degrees. Now we all know that rain can produce some wonderful light, as you can see, even at midday. So I've got four nights, four, three, three nights, four days, in Honister Youth Hostel. I've got it planned meticulously for what I'm going to do. Check-ins five o'clock. Oh, sorry for spinning right round. Check-ins at five o'clock. So I'm gonna go back down, shoot up to Dale Head, see what it's gonna be like in the morning. Again, I am mindful that I'm on my own and after to uh, Greg's fall, I am more anxious than I would normally be, which is probably zero. So if I need to stay at low level, I'll quite happily stay at low level. There are plenty of photography opportunities that I can get to. Anyway, let's go, ta-da. So I consider myself to be of average fitness. That was arduous trick. I've only walked about three quarters of a mile, three quarters of a mile the head's probably two thirds of a mile that way. Oof. Two thirds of a mile that way and I've actually reached my chosen destination for what I planned to be sunrise. But I'm not actually sure it's going to work. I was intending to shoot above there, foreground interest leading, leading down into the valley. But I feel the competition won't be as powerful as it would be from here. Now from here, there's no real foreground interest. It kind of keeping hold of it. It is. It's extremely windy. That's a bit nice. So from there, which is a hell of a drop, down the valley is quite nice, but no foreground interest. Ideally, at sunrise, some cars coming up there will be wonderful. Right, wind has dropped off a little bit. Yikes, that's a hell of a drop. So, no real foreground interest. Oh. 
But I think that's probably going to be that's probably going to my chosen destination. Oh, decisions, decisions. I've got to come here tomorrow morning. I've got to come here. I'm going to have a look up there, see what it does look like. Got a bit of a hodgepodge, you know, it doesn't work. I've been up, up there, it doesn't work. So what I'm going to have to try and do is get up around, around there and put a long lens on and have a go at that to see if I can get these in the background. I might be able to do it just from there. Yeah, that's not a bad angle that from there over here with this area here in the foreground leading down towards bottom here that could work only one way to find out get climbing so it isn't quite working i just cannot get the composition i want the higher up i've got the more of the valley I'm losing and if I go further up I'm going to lose more and more of the valley and it's absolutely mental wind so I think the best course of action is to go back drop down to the next path and go from there and hope that the odd car drives up the valley which will be cliche city but I just can't quite get it from here. I'm going to take a few photographs here, that said, some nice simple photographs shooting up vertical orientation shooting up there. Absolutely bloody hell. Amazing views all around. Yeah, that's Jeez, that's... See you soon. Good evening. That's been an interesting day. I was going to go down to what I... Wow, what an interesting day. I'm back where I started this morning. I went down to Buttermere, but the lone tree's just looking way too dishevelled. So that'll come back here. It's not a bad position. I'm lacking foreground interest. Interest, interest somewhat. But I'm hoping I can get a little bit closer to the edge. And shoot down. Down that way somewhat. I might go a bit further up there try to avoid this section here. I'm actually looking to do I know we're going somewhere into the danger zone. It all points right to that. I set myself aside, be the way on this trial. If you don't know the way, we can stop and make a change. I know we walk for days, losing hope, fading love. This night will.